Okay, here's something I built a few years ago to keep squirrels out of the bird feeder. And you would normally have four up there, but there's just two right now. They're the two rotted. But it's just a pole. I'll get the dimensions later. But uh, he's going to show you how it works when you want to refill them with bird seed. You can go ahead, Michael. All right. Just going to unwind the old nylon cord here. It looks to be about 3 16ths of diameter. I like the cleats you put up there. Nice and secure. And because the cord, the cable shrunk a little bit, because we haven't used it in a few years, it don't touch the bottom. Normally it does. And that I'll get closer here. You can explain how it comes apart, man. You don't have to take it apart. Just explain it. It's, they might have different bird feeders. All right, you sure you don't want me to take a you kid if you want. So take that clamp off, that little carabiner. And then you can unscrew the bird feeder, fill it up, put the cap back on, screw it down, clip it back on, and then pull it back up, I believe. Yep, pull it back up. Until it stops, it hits the pulley up there, and then you back it down a little bit, like an inch. Going. Okay, I'll back it down just a little bit. There you go. And it just wraps it up. You feel special doing that? Feels good. Feel like a sailor. I leave one loop loose there so I can stick that knot under there. Good as new. Okay, see that's and that's it. You do the same thing. And the construction is this first that's a two inch steel tube, isn't it? It looks to be. It is two inch. And it's three feet in the ground and three feet out, and there's three sacks of cement uh, holding that pipe in. And I put the coupler in there because uh, otherwise to repair the pulleys and replace the strings would be a unless you got a big ladder which we don't have. Uh, you gotta take it down once in a while, repaint it, put new pulleys and stuff on it. And this is like a third generation on this pole because squirrels were still getting up the <laughs> they were getting up the thing. Because before I put this thing on, the PVC, that's what about a three inch PVC would you say? Yeah, probably. Only three inch. Uh, I put that up with spacers so the ropes can go under there. Um the <laughs> squirrels, I've seen them do it. They jump, jump on here, and they Hand over hand, climb the rope all the way to the top. <laughs> and it was funny. I wish I would have filmed it. And they climbed all the way to the top, and as soon as they got to the midpoint, they just jumped all right over to the, the bird feeder and sat there eating. And uh, they do it all the time, so I had to find a way. I was going to drill holes in this pipe and feed the string in the pipe all the way up. That would have took care of it. Uh -huh. Then I wouldn't need this. But, you know, to get the rough edges and to figure out how to keep the, the rope from chafing on the, the pipe. I see where that'd be a problem. So now they jump up, but they can't climb the pole, and I've seen it. And these things here you see loose are because we don't have bird feeders. We don't want the cables swinging around. So as soon as you get bird feeders on them, they'll, they, they, they'd be unpassable. But we do not feed the birds right now because we got cats. About 10 of them, would you say now, in the yard? I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, 10 of them. <laughs> Okay, here's the cleats. They are about four inches. Got two screws, each one to hold them in. And this rope, the rope that I use is, I think it's about uh, 20 feet of rope. So 20, 40, 60, 80 feet of rope you need. Good quality rope that can handle the sun. And um, these little guides right here that you see, these are little eyelets. And all these things, I'll, I'll give the links below the description of all these parts. But these little eyelets were the ones that go into wood screws. I didn't want to tap all the holes, so I just got the, I just drilled a hole, and then I put these wood screw eyelets in as best I could. But they're still loose because they're made for wood, not steel. So then I just tack welded it. But if you wanted to, you could um, find another way of using a guide for this, like 
you could actually drill a hole and then tap it and then get the, the bolts that are the eyelets that are regular machine threads but I don't want to do all that. I just tack welded each one and that keeps the ropes in line and the thing is you can't see now you can follow up Johnny follow up and you see up there I got the eyelets there too I got one and you got to determine you got to determine where to put it because you don't want the string hitting the top of the bird feeders. See, you may not have these kind of bird feeders, so you might have your eyelid go up higher or lower, and uh, if that's all custom fitting, okay? So you got that, Johnny, pretty good? Yeah, I got it pretty good. Okay, then, then you come back down again, Johnny. And then this pipe here is just a regular three-inch PVC pipe. It's about six feet long, and um, um, these little things I got here are sort of hokey. If there's standoffs in there, because you got to do it, you got to put these things in in spacers. You can't see it. There's washers in there. You got to play with it to keep this pipe from hitting these these wires, these uh, uh, strings, these ropes. So you got to play with it. I just used regular, um, just a bolt going in there and just adjust it and shimmed it so that you got all this room under this so these ropes can move up and down. Otherwise, this pipe when it'll bow in and then it'll rub against the strings. So you got to have standoffs. I just got two here and two up there. They seem to work good enough. And that takes care of that. Now you stay up there, Johnny. See the little plant hooks? They're 12 inch plant hooks. Of course, these aren't plant hooks. These were made for, um, I think, shelves in the closet. Yeah, they, they, they're shelves for the shelves in the closet is what they are. And uh, I just added, pulled these, and I've added other things to have them lock in. It's pretty self-explanatory, all of it. It's not rocket appliances. And you come back down here, Johnny, nice and easy. When we when we got to repair, maybe change the ropes or repair um, some stuff up there because the pulleys get worn out, whatever, um, we take all the bird feeders down, tie up the ropes like we got here, and then we we unscrew this with a pipe wrench down here, take this top part off, and we have, you know, three people usually. One person work at the pipe wrench, the other two hold on to the pole, and it's per it's not bad. And then we just lower it down, lift, unscrew it, lower it down. And then we grease the threads up, put it back in, and then start all over again we do it. But it usually 10 years before I have to replace anything. The ropes will tell you when they're ready to be replaced. But that's it. And it'll hold all kinds of things. So now you can, so this is a good, so it's good for us. If you want to go tall, you can, but these pipes are expensive. Now, I got this pipe for about 20 bucks back when I built it. This same pipe is about, about $70 now. So you may find another alternative to all this. And you may not do all this fancy stuff here doing all this. Um, but if you don't do this, the squirrels will climb right up these rope up to the top. No problem at all. So you put this here, they can't get up there. This don't stay like this. I only got this, like I told you before, because... Um, I don't want it swinging in the wind. But you might drill a hole in this pipe and run it inside the pipe. And then you don't have to worry about none of that. So that's it. Follow me, Tuna.